now we will start to solve the problem related to the friction now the first problem a body of weight 300 newton is lying on a rough surface having a coefficient of friction as 0.3 full stop find magnitude of friction which can move the body while acting at an angle of 25 degree with horizontal okay so first of all we will write the given data so what is given a body of weight 300 newton so w is given 300 newton is lying on a rough surface having a coefficient of friction as 0.3 coefficient of friction that is mu is given 0.3 find magnitude of friction which can move the body while acting an angle of 25 degree so angle is given 25 degree okay, we need to find the force we need to find the force okay so here it is not friction it is a force okay <coughs> now above, there is a body which is resting on a horizontal surface so this surface is rough surface okay now what is the weight of body 300 so weight will act to the center of gravity and it will act vertically downward that is w which is equal to 300 newton okay now opposite force that is normal reaction and will act perpendicular to the surface and upward right so we are applying force to this body at an angle of 25 degree okay so either so this is a force which are applying so this is at what is the angle here 25 degree with horizontal suppose this force is p we need to find this force okay now we are pulling this body in this direction so in which direction friction force will act so in this direction okay so this is your friction force we need to find the p so what you do so resolve this force p horizontally and vertically so its horizontal force will be p cos 25 and vertical will be p sin 25 right now how to solve it we need to find this force p now we need to find this force p such that it will start to move this body okay now consider this body is in equilibrium so equilibrium means what summation of all forces in x direction is zero summation of all forces in y direction is zero right now find the summation fx so what are the forces in x direction which is equal to zero which is equal to this is in x direction so direction is this so positive p cos 25 and one more force in this direction that is minus f because direction is here so we can rewrite this f is equal to p cos 25 right but we know what is f friction force that is mu coefficient of friction into n normal reaction and mu we know here it is 0.3 so put this 0.3 value you will get 0.3 into n now this equation becomes 0.3 into n so what is cos 45 sorry cos 25 cos 25 is equal to 0 0.9063 p okay this is equation one now same way find the summation f y which is equal to zero now what are the forces in y direction this is downward 
but n and p sin 25 okay so p sin 25 plus n minus w okay now solve this what will get by solving first of all solve this sin 25 sin 25 is 0 0.4226 okay so what is w w is 300 newton p sin 25 what is sin 25 point two two okay p plus n okay so we will rearrange this equation n is equal to 300 minus 0.422 p all right now here suppose this is equation 2 now put this value of n in equation 1 okay so put value of n in equation 1 so what will get after substituting the value of n in equation 1 so point nine zero six three p is equal to point three. What is the value of n? We got three hundred minus point four four point four two two p. Now solve this point nine zero six three p point three into three hundred. We will get ninety point three point three into point four two two. So it is point one two six six p. Now get it here. 0 0.9063 plus p okay 1266 p is equal to 90 so add this to 9063 so we'll get 1.0329 p is equal to 90 and finally p is equal to 90 upon 1.0329 90 upon so p value you get 87.13 newton so this will the force required to move the object now the next problem is related to the ladder friction and the problem is a uniform ladder of length 3.25 meter and weighing 250 newton is placed against smooth vertical wall with its lower end 1.25 meter from the wall. First off, the coefficient of friction between the ladder and the floor is 0.3. What is the frictional force acting on the ladder at the point of contact between the ladder and floor? We need to find this. Show that ladder will remain in equilibrium in this position. Okay. In this, we need to find two things. First, frictional force and second, we need to determine whether it is in equilibrium or not. Okay. Now, coming to the problem, a uniform ladder of length 3.25 meter and weighing 250 newton is placed against a smooth vertical wall. Consider this is a wall okay. and this is a floor. So ladder is resting like this. Okay. Now what is the length? What is the length of this ladder? The length of this ladder is even 3.25 meter. Okay. Suppose it is resting on the floor at point A and it is resting on the vertical wall at point B. So this is the wall and this is a floor, right? <clears throat> now, what is next given? With its lower end, 
1.25 meter from the wall okay so this is wall and this is lower end so this distance is given 1.25 meter right then coefficient of friction between the ladder and the floor is 0.3 so here this is the floor and ladder so coefficient of friction is given 0.3 weight of ladder is given 250 newton is given okay and the length of ladder is given 3.25 meter so these are the given things okay now we know now we will resolve the forces so the weight of the ladder is 250 newton it will act from the center of gravity what will be the center of gravity so half of this length 3.25 okay suppose it is acting from here and it will act vertically downwards so it is a weight of the ladder that is 250 newton okay so we need to find the friction between the ladder and the this floor now suppose this ladder slips so in which direction it will slip in this direction so force will friction will act in this direction we need to find this friction suppose this friction is f now here it is resting on this surface so this surface will also exert opposite force suppose this force is n a okay so what is given in this okay so it is given a smooth surface okay so in the problem it is given is it resting on the wall okay smooth vertical wall you can see here smooth vertical wall Means so first we will find the value of n a so how to find so consider this is an equilibrium okay so resolve forces vertically so summation f y is equal to zero so what are the forces in y direction so first force is this n a and second is the weight of ladder so n is going upward so positive minus weight of ladder is down one so minus 2 t is equal to zero so finally we get the n a value so n a value is 250 newton so we got the value of n a that is 250 newton and we need to find the value of f a okay so how to find that we'll see now see the triangle a b c okay here it is 90 degree so by using pythagoras theorem we we can find the value of b c so from triangle a b c so what will be the b c value so b c will be 3.25 square minus this 1.25 square and we will get the bc value okay so 3.25 square minus 1.25 square under root n so you will get the bc 3 meter so we'll get the bc as a 3 meter okay now we need to find the fa so we will take the moment at b okay moment at b and we will equate the zero okay so summation of moment at b is equal to zero we are considering this is an equilibrium so we will take we will consider there is a no moment so summation of moment at b is equal to zero why we are taking at b because we need to find f a okay now consider here it is from this point okay so what are the forces what are the forces so first force is this one okay f a so if you consider this f a okay so taking this as a center point and this so it is moving in anti-clockwise direction so for anti-clockwise you, you can consider minus so minus f a so what is the perpendicular distance this much okay so you can see here so it is moving like this so this vertical distance bc is 3 meter so f a into 3 right then uh, second force n a so it is going up right so consider this point this force is going up so it is clockwise so plus n a into so what is the distance 
25 then one more force here it is ladder 250 so it will act at the center to the center of gravity okay now consider this so which type of uh, motion it is anti-clockwise so minus so how much it is 250 now what is the distance here this distance is half of the 1.25 1.25 okay so it will act like this here at the center so this distance is what 1.25 divided by 2 that is 0.625 which is equal to 0 okay so we will take to this side this fa so 3 into fa so na we know 250 into 1.25 minus 250 into 0 0.625 which is equal to solve this 250 into 1.25 minus 250 into 0.625 It is 156.25. So FA. So we we'll get FA. So 156.25 divided by 3. And the answer you will get FA value 52.08 FA. So this is the frictional force at ladder free ladder floor okay that is 52.08 so this is available friction at this point a now we need to find whether this will be in equilibrium or not so i will find so first of all we will find the maximum friction at this location so how to find the maximum friction so f max okay maximum friction available at this point a so f max is equal to mu into n a. So what is mu value? Coefficient of friction 0.3 into n a value is 250. So 0 0.3 into 250. So we'll get 75 newton. Okay. So maximum friction at this point will be 75, 75 newton but what is our friction it is 52 means less than this okay so as the friction here is less than the maximum friction okay so f a value is less than f1 that is 52.0 it is less than 75 okay so this is in equilibrium okay if suppose friction this friction exceeds this f max value then your ladder will slip 